welcome to a brand new week. Today is Monday morning and I have spent the morning doing my normal routine of starting some laundry, doing some dishes, decluttering the kitchen and living room area. So that's all done. It's almost a little after nine o'clock and my sister should be picking me up soon. We're gonna do a stop off at Aldi and then we're gonna go to the gym. After that, I'll come home, do a few things and then have some lunch, a little bit of downtime. And then the afternoon, I hope to get out into the garden. Shelby would love to be out there in the garden all day today. It's gonna be a hot one today, I think. Um, mid 80s, low 80s, something like that. But the humidity is back and it is high. So I don't know how much I'm actually gonna get done out there, but I'd like to spend at least an hour out there. I could do some damage in an hour. <laughs> so I'd like to do that today and then also just get the house set up for the week and do a little bit of video work for later in the week. So that is my plan for today and I will check in with you later. Bye. Hello there. I am back from the gym and from Aldi. We also stopped at the hardware store um, for my sister. It is hot out there. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to be going outside to work in the garden today. It is hot, it is humid, and it is only 11 o'clock in the morning. <sighs> so anyways, I picked up a can of spray paint to spray paint a few things for Zoe's um, room. She's redoing her little side of the room. She has a desk, which she just painted, and then I have a mirror and then some little decorative things that she wants painted. So pick that up for her, and then I also picked up a few things from Aldi, which I'll put the camera around and show you real quick. So I picked up two loaves of bread, two pizzas, a Kleenex dish soap, three bottles of bubble water, a thing of Kobe Jack cheese, some margarine, and then I picked up this ham. It's pre-sliced Black Forest ham. I have never tried this before. So that'll be one of our meals this week. I needed one more meal for the week. I also picked up this tropical blend of fruit for smoothies. And I picked up two things of shredded mozzarella, a thing of hamburger buns, saltine crackers, and then I've never seen this before either, but it's the iced coffee and it's the, well, let's see, mocha flavored. So I'm hoping the girls will enjoy that because they're really into the iced coffees this year. So that is what I picked up at the store. Now I need to get some laundry done and do a few things um, around the house before lunchtime. And I am starving. I think I might eat a banana now and then get some work done. <laughs> All right, so I will check in with you later. Bye. bright and early. I am grabbing my gear so I'm meeting my sister at the gym. Actually she's picking me up and she's waiting outside and I'm running behind. But this is the only thing on the books today. Um, I do need to go to Target. We need to make one return for my for Zoe and pick up some creamer. So that is the only thing that absolutely has to get done today after my workout. So I will check in with you later. Bye! back from the gym but my sister and I have decided we're going to go to Target so I need to stop and get us a banana because now we're starving and get a return and then I need to return to Target oh these might not pass Carrie's inspection all right so I'm gonna head to Target and I'll talk to you later Hi there, so I am back from Target with my sister and it is, I don't know what time it is, it's like 11.30 already, so before I get started on anything else today, I'm going to stop, I am going to have some lunch because I'm starving and it seems as if my kids are still sleeping, which is fine because I know they stayed up really late last night, so I'm going to enjoy this quiet time for the next hour or so 
and then I'll get up and get some work done for the day. So I will talk to you later. morning it is Wednesday morning and we are gonna have a pretty lazy day today um, Emily has a babysitting job this afternoon and I have a few videos that I want to work on and I need to get out in the garden and do some weeding and some watering um, but that is it it's gonna just be a putz around the house sort of day so I'm excited about that because it's been a couple busy days here so I'm excited to have a low-key day and maybe get some work down around the house, which I want to do. And I am in a huge purging mode. I do not know why. I don't know where it came from, but I just want to get out the clutter. No more clutter in my house, please. So um, after that tornado warning last week, when the tornado siders went out, our little storage area underneath our steps, is it was completely full so I had pulled everything out of there a lot of the stuff out so we could get in there and so then I'm like this is ridiculous it is tornado season we need to be able to get in here so I went through all of that and donated a lot and got rid of a lot so now we can get in there much easily more easily and I think that's what sparked this renewed want to declutter because I didn't get all my decluttering done in January which I normally do. Um, the girls decluttered their closet yesterday. We still need to go through their clothes. So we may do that today also. And then, yeah, we just get the house back in order. It seems like the house has been just in the crazy, like, I don't know, limbo land all summer long because I haven't been able to keep up with it. Like with my daily cleaning schedule and then, um, with the kids being home all the time, the house just never gets completely decluttered and cleaned. The parts of it do, but not the whole house at one time. So I'm trying to get better about that. It is hard. I'm, I'm hoping, let me know if you're like the same way in the summertime where you just don't, your schedule's off. You've got other things you want to be doing outside. So the housework, it just kind of gets left behind. So I don't know if that's just me. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. We'll see. But anyways, so I'm going to get started on my work for the day and I will check in with you later. Bye. schedule. I need to get some food made for dinner. It's supposed to be hamburgers tonight. So I need to get outside and get the grill started. And yeah, the afternoon it kind of turned out the whole day I was kind of like running a little bit behind because um, my morning activities kind of like things to life took over and I didn't get to my stuff. So yeah, I'm running about two hours behind today. <laughs> But that's okay. So, um, yeah, I really don't have anything else to say other than that. But I'm going to do some, grill some burgers and make some french fries for the girls for dinner. And that will be it for me today. I'm going to just um, do some editing tonight. So, not very fun stuff. But I will talk to you later. Bye. Hi, everyone. It is, what day is it? It's Thursday morning. It is already noon. <laughs> But well, that's alright. I woke up late today. Didn't wake up till 7 o'clock, so I slept in two hours today. I was so excited. Um, then I went to the gym with my sister. I went to Costco, and now I'm home. And yeah, I don't know what else is going on today. Zoe's got a babysit this afternoon. 
So it's gonna be kind of a lazy day today since it's raining and gross and actually kind of chilly outside today. So yeah, that's what's happening. Check in with you later. Doodles. Good morning. It is a Friday morning and I am headed off to Walmart with my sister and one of my children and we're going to do some back to school shopping. So very exciting. Wish me luck. Hope I survive. I'm getting this one. What is it? The twistables, you twist, you can twist it and then stop them. Oh, just so sure. you don't have to continuously roll your pencil. Gotcha. Lemon has one of these in there. Mm. You can choose to see the filter. I don't know. Alright, I'm gonna get these extra pencils because you guys go through pencils and these are only like three bucks for 20. There's all of our supplies so far. Can I tell them my plan? Sure, go ahead. Okay, so last year I did, what did I do? Um, I had one big binder like this, but it was way bigger. Okay. And it kept on breaking because there was so much stuff in it. So this year I'm doing two binders because my prime time is right in the middle of the day. Sure. So I have one for the morning. This is my morning one. And then one for the afternoon, which this one is like more flimsy. Right. That's okay because you don't do a lot in the afternoon. Most of the stuff is in the morning. Right. So. so then, and then she has these, these dividers. dividers with the pockets, so that doubles as her folders, so we don't have to do folders also. And then I got an extra notebook just for like prime time activities and stuff. Yep. And then... Oh, the best pencils ever. Okay, we're probably going to do that and then probably go through clothes. They're my favorite ruler I've ever had. Ooh, it's really look good. at that. Very pretty. All right. Hello there. Guess where we're going? Hobby Lobby is the grand opening today. I'm so excited. We didn't even know it was happening, but it's happening. So we are definitely stopping in. Not that we need anything, but we're just going to go check it out. Oh, yeah. Are back from the stores we went to Walmart and we went out to lunch with the girls and then we went to Michael's and Hobby Lobby so that was pretty fun Zoe is pretty much done with her back to school shopping and we did clothes shopping and supply shopping she just needs a couple more things and then she's gonna be set I have all the supplies except for a couple things for the other girls also so back to school shopping is almost done which is amazing so and then, of course, I need to do a little bit of clothes shopping for the older, two older girls, but that will come later, so it was a good day. So this is what I picked up at Hobby Lobby. It's like these little miniature olive buckets. I think it's so cute. I got one size, larger size, and then one smaller size. I thought those would look really nice for fall decorations. The larger one was $3.99, and the smaller one, I think, yeah, $1.99. And they did have one size larger than this, but I just thought it'd be a little something cutesy. So, yeah. Look at this. So Zoe really has cool. all it has her... an extra zipper. Oh, nice. Hold on. And it's got a pocket on the outside, which is nice. Yep. 
So she got that one for one of her classes. I need to show you my favorite feature. This, this one. That for one's a flimsy one. one. My yeah. favorite thing about this one is one, it has this pencil case, and two, well, yeah. two. It oh wow! Opens you up put here a tablet. You can put a tablet in here. Even though I don't have one, I can put my Kindle in here. Right. So. That's pretty nice. Yeah, and then it has like this. Then it's got a folder also. Yeah. If you wanted cool. to, you could probably cut this out, you but I'm, I'm not. Because I don't yeah. plan to put anything in here. Yeah. Maybe just like post notes or something. Yeah, that'd be good, yeah. But otherwise, it'll just get bulky. Yeah, and then you can't shut it. Right. So then for a planner, we decided not to get a school a planner through the school this year and get a planner. And said we were going to get a recollections planner, but they were more expensive than the happy planners. The happy planners have the student um kit. student kit so that's what she ended up getting so it's got your schedule and then it's got your courses for all the different i'm assuming oh just two of them course contacts and then class schedule which is nice but i wonder if they have that for each quarter i don't know anyways and then your last page has got Things to study, important dates, birthdays, and then goals this month. Oh, look, that one's got a pencil pouch in it. Well, that's convenient because we need one for post notes and stuff. There you go. Awesome. Ta-da! And then here we've got your monthly spread, and then you've got your daily, which is pretty cool. So let's see. Let's flip through here. And then end of the each month they've got this little thingy again which is nice so this is pretty cool I think she's pretty excited about this let's see oh and then we bought an extra packet of the little dividers so she has three of those there's a feathers this little black and white one and then the colorful one okay so then at the back there is another page for your course contacts and your class schedules which is nice but hers is a quarterly and not a semi quarterly so we may have to like redo one of these pages but anyways then of course it comes with two of these magnet um tabs i guess then it comes with a little sticker sheet of post-its and then it comes with a few stickers Oh, let's see, one, two, three sheets. Oh, look at that, final test. Yep. That's pretty front, cool. I have my golden stickers that we bought. Mm. And then she also picked up a little sticker here. Let's see. Oh, these are gold ones. For just a little something to add. Oh, look, it's got the little bulldog. <laughs> Love that little bulldog. So anyways, well, that is what she's going to use for a planner this year. Ooh, I saw this like so today she got this one. It said, today will be full of wonderful things. Isn't that amazing? So that'll be nice for her. A little bit of an extravagant thing. But planning is the key to success. So a nice planner is a nice thing.